Other news, it's been a week since a crane dangerously dangling in Midtown caused businesses and residents on parts of West Peachtree Street to evacuate their homes. Today, they're no longer living out of a suitcase. CBS 46's Sabrina Silva joins us live from Midtown with how folks are feeling after being allowed back into their homes. Sabrina. Yeah, good afternoon, Rob. Well, work continues here on West Peachtree Street, but now those residents that were evacuated, they get to go back inside of their homes. And let me tell you, these folks, they are extremely positive. Take a look for yourself. We work from home, so we had to get, of course, new supplies, so we were able to you know, do our job. Podcasters PK, Denise, and their furry one, Kiki, happy to finally be back inside their home for good. Last Friday, the couple, along with dozens of other residents at Atlantic House, were told to evacuate their homes because right next door, a crane had become loose. They put us in great hotels for a whole week, all expenses paid. At first, they were told it was going to be just for a couple of hours. Then it became a full week. Despite the inconvenience, residents at the complex say they made the most out of this unexpected experience. It was inconvenient for sure, but we didn't have pipes bursting. It wasn't freezing. We weren't it's without so... power. We had some friends that were without power for 10 days. Yeah. So, you know, just put things in perspective. But it wasn't without a few troubles. I forgot nail clippers because, again, I didn't think of that. I forgot underwear, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I got undershirts and yeah. like all the other stuff. I don't know why I just missed that. I had to go to Costco. <laughs> and clearly a ton of lessons learned. Like next time you're kept out of the house for days, don't forget your underwear. I mean, we made it work. So again, I just think life is short. So you have to, if you're not going to look at the positives in the situation, you really got to hate, you know, just what's happening. So. Now, taking you back live here, the reason why those residents are back is because they've been able to remove the top of the crane, which was the most dangerous one. But West Side, West Peachtree Street will remain closed uh, for the next couple of days. We don't know when it'll open back up. But for now, reporting live in Midtown, I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News.